morning everyone welcome to the channel i hope you're all having a great day if it's your uh first time stopping by thank you very much and if you've stopped by in the past you're a subscriber thank you also so today i want to do something different with the pioneer that i have never done and uh, i never thought i would it's kind of out there oddball in my eyes but whatever so long story short i had a buddy come over the other day to pick some stuff up and he was uh, looking at the pioneer and he was telling me how my limit straps were screwing up my articulation and they were just stopping all the wheel travel. And I said, no, I like the limit straps because they don't overextend my shocks, they pretend my axles, yada, 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 yada. And he was telling me, you know, he's, he's got a Razor 1000 four-seater and they got the Fox shocks and he doesn't need the limit straps and players engineered it all in there and this and that and this thing didn't come stock with limit straps so I should take them off. So it got me thinking, how much articulation am I losing with the limit straps? So I went online, did some research, and I know Jeep guys, or even the uh, the rock crawling pickups, whatever, modified vehicles, they use that uh, ramp travel index, RTI. And so I looked around and I, I couldn't find one here. Um, so I said, you know what, how much is it gonna cost me to make one? And gonna pull the old welder out and just wasn't cost effective so I went looking through uh, some stuff I already have and that's what I came up with I got an old uh, heavy-duty plastic uh, tote right there with a ramp then I got the old pioneer so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the pioneer with the limiting straps I'm gonna drive it up the ramp and I'm gonna do it the front tire and the back tire and I'm gonna go all the way up until one tire barely comes off the ground then I'll back up and I'm gonna measure the distance up the ramp and then I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna remove the limit straps and I'm gonna see how much farther up the ramp I can get to see how much articulation I am losing now normally I wouldn't do this um, on the trails because I know hitting a hole or something at you know 25 30 miles an hour that axle is going to drop and it could snap an axle, uh, mainly the CV boots, and it's going to, it could damage internal uh, parts of the shocks. Remember, I'm not running the stock shocks, I have the 814 uh, UTV shocks. So, in my controlled environment, I don't mind it, but I will be putting the limit straps back on for those of you wondering. But let's see how much farther we can get up the ramp. So, I'm not going to do the um, RTI calculation. I don't it doesn't bother me by any means but for those of you wondering from center hub to center hub um, on the pioneer is six foot eleven and a half inches remember i have the uh arched forward and rear a arms so there you go in my ramp set up right there uh, a quick measurement is around 31 degrees if that makes a big difference for anyone who wants to put the calculations in uh leave it in the comments below Maybe you can score it. Anyways, so I'm gonna go up. I will set my uh, hillbilly parking brake so I don't damage the transmission. I will get out, I will take my level right there. I will go from the center of the hub down. I will mark it on my ramp and I'm going to measure pretty much from the end of the ramp up to wherever it goes. And we will see how much articulation I gain by removing the limit straps. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna guess but uh, I'm not gonna tell you yet. Uh, leave it in the comments below on how much farther up the ramp you think I'll get with no limit straps. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, front tire up, number one, I've got it measured. The other three tires are still on the ground. The front passenger side tire uh, started to come up, so I had to back down just a little bit. So I did a measurement, I went from the center of the axle down, I am at 19 inches measured from here to here, and I will show you that this limit strap is super taut. That one's nice and loose, and this one is nice and tight. So now, let me go ahead, turn the buggy around, and do the back tire. All right, so let's do the rear tire test with the limit straps on. All 
Okay, so backing up the ramp, we actually did a little bit better. Uh, going up the front with the limit straps, I was at 19 inches. Going up the back tires, I was at 22 and a half inches. So now I will pull the uh, Pioneer forward, remove the limit straps, and let's see how much farther we get up. Well, I've removed the limit straps. Let me show you what that looks like. All four limit straps are completely off. And so while we're already in this position, we are going to back up and we'll see how much farther we get up. Don't forget to put your comments below on how much farther up you think I'll get. So I'm at 22.5 inches right now. And remember, this is about 31 degrees. Okay, so here we go. No limit straps. Wow. Big time difference. Almost got to completely on the box. I haven't measured it yet. I'm gonna go ahead and get this off the box. I don't like the position it's in, but look at that. That's a couple inches of travel. I mean, that's pretty gnarly looking if you think about it. Going off onto the trails. I mean, look at that. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice, but it's, it's pretty cool. So let me get this off here and turn it around. So there you have it, there's the test. We are complete. So here is the final results. The Pioneer wheelbase was six foot, 11 and a half inches. So let's call it seven foot. The ramp is at a 31 degree angle and the box is 23 inches tall. So there you go. The front travel right when the point when a tire was gonna come off the ground with the limit straps was 19 inches. Without the limit straps, it was 30 inches. That's a gain of 11 inches of travel up the ramp with no limit straps. That boggles my mind and how much more articulation is right there. Now let's go to the rear. The rear with the limit straps, if you recall, was 22 and a half inches. And the rear without the limit straps was 33 and a quarter inches. So that's a gain at 10.75 inches, my measurements could be a little off. So roughly, with no limit straps, with these longer shocks, it's a gain of 11 inches of travel up your index. So again, if you guys don't have score, put it in the comments below. But let me show you why I'm gonna put the limit straps back on. I told you in the beginning I was gonna run them. So this, don't get me wrong, looks awesome. But when you get back here, this stock axle, Honestly, I don't know what the angle is, but it does not look happy. Now this tire is getting ready to lift off the ground, so the shocks are, are stopping it. Let's go around to the front. The spinal axle doesn't look so bad, but I mean, look at the angle of the tire of the camber. I mean, it's folding under. Um, if it was a solid axle, I could understand that. But remember, these limb straps are 19 inches. So that's probably, I don't know, three inches. Somewhere in there. So there you have it. If you wondered how much articulation you're losing by running limit straps, there it is. I basically got 11 inches farther up the ramp, front and rear. Now remember, I'm running the 350 pound springs in the front. 400 pound springs in the rear. My rebound is set at seven. And my compression is set at five all the way around. So don't forget to share, like, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please click it right now. And until next time.